Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is stage 24, and this is the About the Language Cum plus the Plu perfect subjunctive. This is otherwise known as Cum clauses. Um, and this is a pretty standard one and a pretty easy one because you have already seen like seven examples of this and you didn't bat an eye. Okay. So let me go back and show us in, in itinerary. Okay. So we just read the story. And this has one, two, three, four examples of a cum clause, okay? So first of all, super easy to identify this because it's called a cum clause, which means that it has cum in it, right? It starts out with cum. What else do you notice about this? Take a look at this, cum ad pontem venescent, cum, stritione, uh, cum stritio transiacet, cum descendiset, cum ad medium pontem venescet. So I'm hoping that you notice two things immediately. One is at the at the beginning of the sentence, uh, and that's probably not even the most obvious one. The the other really consistent thing is look at the verb in each one of these. Cum ad pontem venescent, cum stratio transi set, cum descend deset, cum ad medium pontem venescent. So we see this thing: venescent, transi set, descend set, set. So. What we have here is part of our about the language. It's called the pluperfect subjunctive. Now we know the pluperfect already, right? Like wainerant or transierant or descenderant or wainerant. We know the pluperfect. This is something that's called the pluperfect subjunctive. We're not even going to worry about it right now. The only thing that I care about is that you can identify a cum clause. Easy, right? Starts out with cum, ends with this is set, is sent verb. That's it. Okay. And the other thing is that these are pluperfect. So we know that we translate them as had. So when they had come to the bridge, when Strithio had crossed, when he had descended or gotten down from, when he had come to the middle of the bridge. All right, so we've already seen a bunch of examples in, in itinerary. Look, we even saw examples in the story that we just read, and it was the first sentence. Now, it's a longer sentence, but look, cum is at the beginning. We got this is set verb at the end. And then if we come down here, cum at the beginning, is set at the end, cum at the beginning, is set at the end. Now, I'll, I'll show you Cambridge gives you a really good example uh, of where the cum clause doesn't be, doesn't come right at the beginning of the sentence. So just like anything else in Latin, you can move the parts of the sentences and the words of a sentence around for effect, right? So this time we wanted to put the emphasis on Dumnorix. So we actually put Dumnorix first. So Dumnorix, when he had heard these things, okay? So not a big deal there that it's not quite at the beginning, but it usually is as we see with the other six of the previous six or seven examples. All right. So again, to review, starts out with cum, ends with an iset or isent verb, and we translate it when blankety blank had blanked, right? So when Modestus had arrived, when the slaves had prepared, when the king had left, etc. Okay. These are called cum clauses. And the verb here is called the pluperfect subjunctive. So we're going to do something that we've always done. When a verb is pluperfect, we're going to use had, right? So when Modestus had arrived at the bridge. And we just have to remember that for right now, it's this thing called the subjunctive. And again, we're not even really going to worry about what that is or, you know, big explanation. It's just, let's just learn it as a thing, as a title. So the pluperfect subjunctive, okay? Um, just to be clear down here, it shows you, well, this is the pluperfect that we've always known. This is called the indicative, okay? So, because we're indicating just straight regular sentences, straight facts, uh, and we know portawarat or the plural portawarat, right? He had carried, they had carried. Well, the subjunctive version, portawaset, he had carried, portawasent, they had carried. Okay. Um, look down here, kind of refer to this chart with the irregular verbs. You know, the verbs like to be and to want, they're always a little bit strange because they're so common. And so you can see like foo erat, foo erat. So he had been 
they had been fuiset. He had been fuiset. They had been. Notice they translate exactly the same way, right? So we're not even learning anything new in terms of that. So go ahead, take the about the language buzz quiz, practice this. Let's make sure that we understand this and we'll check in together at the end. Take care.